Hi everyone, my name is Devendra and I'm going to talk about our ICML 2021 paper on differentiable spatial planning using transformers. The problem of spatial planning involves finding the shortest path to a goal location from a starting location given an obstacle map. The map is spatial as opposed to any arbitrary graph, which means that there is some regularity and distances between elements of the map. Our objective is to develop methods that can learn to plan from data. So a natural question is, why do we need machine learning for a problem which has stable classical solutions like Dijkstra and Astra? There are two key reasons. First, the world consists of many statistical regularities. For example, walls are mostly parallel or perpendicular to each other, and the furniture is aligned with the walls, and so on. Classical methods do not capture these regularities because they optimize a plan from scratch for each new setup. A learned planner, represented via a neural network, can not only capture these regularities, but can also be efficient at inference time, as the plan is just a result of a forward pass through the network. Second, a critical assumption of classical planning algorithms is that a global ground truth obstacle map must be known to the agent ahead of time. A learned solution could not only provide the ability to deal with partial or noisy maps, but also help build maps on the fly while acting in the environment by backpropagating through the long range plans without having any map supervision. Prior methods for spatial planning use iterative local convolution operations in a learned planner inspired by the classical value iteration algorithm. Convolutional operations only allow local value propagation within each iteration. The regularity of distances in spatial maps can be exploited to improve the planning efficiency. The value can be propagated between two distant points in a single iteration if there are no obstacles between them. Transformers are well suited for this kind of long distance value propagation as they can attend to arbitrary locations on the map. We consider two settings in our experiments, known maps and unknown maps. In the first setting, the map and goal location are given as input to the planning model and the objective is to predict action distances or the number of actions required to reach the goal from all other traversable locations. We implement planning with known maps for both navigation and manipulation. For manipulation, we consider a planar arm with two degrees of freedom and convert the observation into the configuration space to get the input map. We present the spatial planning transformer or SPT model to learn planning. The input and goal location are first passed through an encoder module which consists of one cross one convolution layers to get the embedding of each element in the map. The embeddings are then flattened and passed through a transformer module. The transformer module adds the positional encoding to each embedding and passes it through five identical transformer layers. The output of the transformer module is then passed through a decoder module, which uses fully connected layers to predict the action distances at each location. We train the SPT model with standard supervised learning using synthetic data. For every input map and goal, we predict the action distances from all navigable locations and minimize the mean squared error loss. We then use the SPT model trained on the synthetic data for the second setting of planning with unknown maps. In this setting, we pass the raw sensor observations through a mapping model and pass the predicted map through the pre-trained and frozen SPT model to predict the action distances. Since the planning module is pre-trained and it expects a structured map input, the mapper module learns to predict the map accurately such that the predicted map, when passed through the planner, minimizes the action level loss. This essentially allows us to leverage differentiable spatial planning to learn mapping just from action supervision in an end-to-end -end fashion without having access to any ground truth maps. We use two baselines for our experiments, value iteration networks and gated path planning networks, which are both prior spatial planning methods. For all the methods, we report the planning accuracy, and we evaluate all the methods in two types of test sets. First is in distribution with same distribution of obstacles as training, and the second is out of distribution where we increase the obstacles at test time and evaluate on real world maps in the Gibson dataset. We first conduct experiments in known maps. Among in distribution test sets, the proposed SPT model outperforms both the baselines at both navigation and manipulation across different map sizes, achieving an overall accuracy of 99% as compared to 92% for the best baseline. We show an example of the predictions of the SPT model as compared to the baselines for the navigation task. Similarly, the SPT model also outperforms both the baselines for out of distribution test sets too. When we move to unknown maps, the performance improvement of SPT over the baseline increases. In the bottom, we show an example of predicted map and distance values using the SPT model, which shows that the SPT model is able to predict the map accurately without having any map supervision. For more details and analysis, please check out the paper and the webpage. Thank you for listening. My name is Devendra, and I'm happy to answer questions over email.